Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. We have some news, so let's get to it. The very first thing I want to tell you guys about is an incredibly cool game that was just recently brought to my attention by Timothy Sosa. He mentioned this to me in a message on Facebook, and it's actually a Kickstarter for a game coming out called Life, the Evolution of Life on Earth series. And it looks to be one of the coolest games that I think I have ever seen in my entire life. A really cool idea behind it and something that's very fresh and unique if you ask me. Something that's very different than most games as far as different board games go. And of course if I'm promoting it, that clearly means that there are some really cool prehistoric figures included. In this game, you are the origin species on Earth and you begin 4.6 billion years ago and play through 5 eras with 268 miniatures that is a ton the goal is six thousand dollars and they are currently as of making this video at four thousand six hundred and twenty three dollars so i really do recommend that anybody interested to support this project and i will definitely include a link in the description straight to the kickstarter for this because again it looks extremely extremely cool and you can see looking at these images just how incredibly neat this board game is overall. Just the really cool visuals, even the game boards themselves look incredibly nice. You pretty much start the game as one of four founding characters and then you explore the world and collect DNA to evolve yourself by hunting and killing other species on the map. What could be cooler than that honestly? And with 268 different miniatures there is just a ton that gets included with this game and so many incredibly cool species as well. As you can see here as we fly by each of the periods that are included in the game and also giving you guys some kind of like sneak peeks of some of the species included as far as the miniatures go and just generally an idea of everything included with the game. Again it looks insanely awesome and something that I did want to point out to you guys as soon as this was brought to my attention I definitely wanted to include this in a video to help kind of get this funded and also show you guys this really cool board game that is going to be available if it does in fact reach the goal price of six thousand dollars on kickstarter so again make sure you check the description as i will have a link right there straight to the kickstarter for this incredibly cool board game and then as far as w dragon goes we have a look at some of the work currently going on with the upcoming giganotosaurus figure you can see that there are just pieces of the giganotosaurus figures all over the place but again this also shows you that there is progress currently being made and hopefully the release of this giganotosaurus isn't too far off i do believe the release date originally was slated for August but again that's just an estimate as we are clearly now past that point so hopefully the release of this figure isn't too far off but these images are definitely reassuring that it is coming sooner rather than later and we actually have a look at some more work from W Dragon that they will be producing and this is a juvenile Tyrannosaurus Rex skull replica which is extremely nicely done. I think the sculpt on this is just insane looking as far as including just tons of detail and a really nice overall very museum-like appearance. And I was really interested to see something like this because it's very different than most of what you would normally see from W Dragon. They've made some Tyrannosaur busts and stuff in the past, but those were obviously Jurassic Park inspired ones. And we now see this one as clearly not Jurassic Park inspired in any way, shape or form, but overall extremely nicely done and something I'm definitely really excited about coming from W Dragon. So another incredibly cool piece coming from W Dragon as always. And then as far as Wild Past goes, if you have not heard quite yet, Wild Past has actually teamed up with Kayakasaurus. If you don't know who Kayakasaurus is and you're on YouTube looking at dinosaur videos, I almost refuse to believe you because he is definitely one of the most popular dino tubers out there. And he was recently hired by Wild Past to create a sculpt for their line and it is actually a Scutosaurus, but it also comes with a Cotlassia. So that is extremely cool as well to have two different figures included in one shot as far as this Wild Past release goes and one thing to take into consideration is the fact that so many permian species are a good bit smaller than most of the dinosaurs you would normally see in the wild past dinosaur line is in 135th scale so the permian species like this scutosaurus will actually be released in 120th scale to kind of make them a little bit bigger and a little bit more i guess worth your while so that is really cool on the part of wild past to release these in a little bit of a larger size just so they're not insanely small and Again, looking at this figure, you can see right here, it is absolutely gorgeous, which is not surprising at all when it comes to 
Wild Past, and of course, Kayakasaurus, as he has created many incredible sculpts in the past, and uh, definitely a really awesome set of figures coming from Wild Past. Once a pre-order or anything goes up, I will definitely let you guys know. And then as far as Prime 1 Studios goes, we have some really nice newer images of their upcoming Dilophosaurus statue. And you can see by looking at these images that as far as accuracy goes, this thing is incredible and looks exactly like the Dilophosaurus did in the film in both sculpt and paint if you ask me. As far as these high-end collectibles, as far as Jurassic Park high-end collectibles go, I feel like nobody can even touch Prime 1 Studio. They are just far and away better than pretty much everyone else as far as the other big-name statue companies that are creating Jurassic Park official statues. You're really not going to see any better than Prime 1 most times, and this Dilophosaurus is pretty much a perfect and prime example of that because it looks absolutely insanely beautiful. Of course, it does come with a pretty big price tag, but with this much beauty, sculpt, and paint included, I think it might just be worth it. And then as far as T-Rex production, Productions goes they are currently working on an allosaurus for a resin kit to be released and it looks extremely extremely nice I like the very cool pose on it as it kind of appears to be lunging up almost looks like maybe it's trying to grab a hold of a pterosaur or something with one foot up off the ground or maybe even just going after like a sauropod or some larger species of dinosaur but as usual the sculpt looks incredibly nicely done as far as the sculpt and detail goes of course it's not fully finished at this point but you can see just looking at the head neck and body area that the detailing on this looks beautiful just like their concavenator which I have actually reviewed here on the channel I'm really excited to see this one get finished and see what the complete finalized product looks like but I definitely wanted to show you guys these images to kind of get you hyped for the fact that this was going to be coming out from T-Rex Productions. And then as far as Nanmu goes, they just unveiled one of the coolest releases that they have released so far. Of course, it's not released quite yet, but we are teased with the 3D renders of an incredible Jurassic Park inspired Triceratops. And I think it's safe to say that as far as the JP style Triceratops goes, Nanmu is absolutely the winner in every way because this looks incredible. Every ounce of detail on this is pretty much exactly as I recall on the Jurassic Park Triceratops. And one of the most important things for me when it comes to a Triceratops from Jurassic Park and the way it would match up correctly to the film is the head sculpt. Of course you have those kind of large osteoderms that are very trademark to that dinosaur on the side of the body and I think they nailed that area as well. But the head sculpt is very unique in my opinion as far as a Jurassic Park Triceratops tops goes and I think Nanmu has really captured the look of it kind of having like an elongated look to the head and everything it's just something that is very reminiscent of the Jurassic Park style of a Triceratops and again Nanmu has nailed every aspect of this sculpt perfectly and if this doesn't get you excited enough just looking at this Triceratops there is actually going to be an alternate version as usual when it comes to Nanmu and this is the alternate version we do have a sick Triceratops coming from Nanmu as well. Look at how insanely beautiful this is. I have been really desperately trying not to order any of the high-end collectible versions of this because they just cost so much money, but I've always wanted to own a sick Triceratops and have one in my collection to really complete that beautiful diorama from Jurassic Park. And luckily for us, we have Nanmu in our lives who just came along and created it for me in something that is going to be really nice and affordable in comparison to what those larger statues from like Iron Studios and Chronicle go for. So I am insanely, insanely excited about this Triceratops, even more so than most of the Nanmu releases, which I'm always extremely excited about. And the fact that you can even take the Triceratops off the base makes it twice as cool if you ask me. So this is definitely one of, if not the coolest releases coming from Nanmu in the very near future. And then as far as Rebor goes, they are actually going to be releasing more Retrosaurs as we had recently looked at that kind of Charles R. Knight version, which I love. And I just recently purchased the Joe Ladotti version of that sculpt, but they are also releasing a different version of the Retrosaur, which you can see here on the right. And I think that one as well has that kind of perfect old school look to it. And it really does look 
well done in every aspect as far as capturing that vintage look of a dinosaur but one very interesting aspect that I picked up from their Facebook page in a conversation that Rebor was having with someone on there is the fact that for this they are going to be doing at least one of the paint schemes I don't know if it's the primary paint scheme or not but the Sauron from Primal Rage they will be doing this paint scheme or at least they have hinted at this on their Facebook page so that is really cool and looking at this figure in comparison to the Rex that we had just seen the sculpt is fairly similar in a way I guess just of course pretty exaggerated with the Primal Rage edition here but definitely a cool idea on the part of Rebor always kind of paying tribute to so many different films and famous dinosaurs from the past so that is definitely a really really cool thing that Rebor is going to be doing and I definitely love the idea behind these retrosaurs and then you also have news on the grab-and-go tyrannosaurs, which I'm sure many people are interested in. These will actually start to ship to distributors within the next five days. I don't even think a pre-order has gone up anywhere quite yet, but the fact that we will be getting these figures sooner rather than later is super, super exciting as I am incredibly eager to pick both of these figures up and get a look at them in person. So definitely something that is great news for fans of Rebor, but specifically if you are someone that's been waiting for those grab-and-go Rex figures, they are on their way. And then as far as the McDonald's Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous figures go, there are two other figures as well, although I'm not quite sure where they are released. This news is thanks to Collect Jurassic, but we can see there is a Parasaurolophus and a Stiggy Moloch in this little lot of McDonald's dinosaur figures as well. Again, I don't know exactly where these ones were released, if they even have been so far, but it is cool to see even more. Just really sad that so far it doesn't seem like we'll be getting them here in the United States. And the final thing I want to tell you guys about is the fact that the Savage Strike Dilophosaurus from Mattel has actually gone up for purchase on Amazon. So if this is a figure that you guys have been waiting for, I know I have, as I really do like this sculpt overall quite a bit. I think it's a really cool, refreshing look for the Mattel Dilophosaurus. It is currently up for sale on Amazon, so I will include a link in the description to where you can head over there and pick it up. Don't worry though, once you click that link, you're probably going to see an image of the Parasaurolophus, but I have been told that the link is actually for the Dilophosaurus, and it's just a mix-up with the image, which Amazon has actually been doing quite a lot of that lately. That's all the news I've got as of right now, so when more comes out, I'll be sure to send it your way, but until then, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.